try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you my hair hello everyone welcome to another vlog it's monday um i did want to start this vlog a lot sooner it's pitch black outside even though it's only around 5 36 i am wearing a lounge set like super baggy lounge set from zara my new cashmere socks from fig leaves my favorite ones and i'm about to show you the two new beds that we have we've had them for a couple of months now um, and the story all behind them. Rooms aren't finished yet, so I'm not, I'm not showing you all of them. It's literally just walls have been painted, floors set down, and new beds. Um, I'll talk about that later. And I'm going to be doing some hauls, but more vlog style. So I've had some new deliveries today, which I'm going to show you. Um, and actually some from last week. And then, what are we going to do after that? Then we're going to London. And I'm going to take you with me to do some high street shopping. So that's the vlog. Let me go show you the two new beds. Okay, so this is our room. I'm not showing you the left side because the wardrobes are actually done. Super happy with them. But um, everything inside needs to be organised because it's not organised yet. So this is our new bed. And it's really dark, as you can see. And the light looks so good, especially in the other room. <sighs> I'm out of breath from my little stairs. That's my Timothy Alton shielding cushion you would have seen in another vlog. Um, these grey bed sheets are for my old grey bed that I had, but they're really good quality, so I'm still going to keep them. <sighs> I'm going to have an inhaler, wait a second. Oh, so maybe this is better. It's a terrible light, I have a yellow light on, it's dark outside, so just ignore that. So the curtains and the blinds, they are from my old bedroom. Um, I know what I'm having. Um, and there's no radiator as well, look. So we're slowly doing all the radiators in the house. I remember I put up a vlog up a few years ago and I got pff, abuse for my radiators. It's quite shocking, really. And um, I can't stress to you how important it is to one, the, my biggest advice for doing up a house is, I mean, we're all different, but I strongly advise that you live in the space because if I had had replaced my radiators when I first moved in, I wouldn't have had the ones that I have now, which for me are the best radiators ever. I'm so in love with them. They're super expensive. Every time we make an order, they're like over 5,000. And we don't even get... We haven't even got half the house done yet. So they're very expensive and we have other priorities. So we take our time doing... We do like a couple, two, three rooms at a time. So we have quite a big batch come in for the lounge, the bar my wardrobe and in here so and we're still only halfway and then we have the extension but boring radiator talk so i need a pillow um so yeah this is the bed it's from the french bedroom company uh completely paid for ourselves when you're doing your home stuff you have to get into the on on a roll of doing so many things so i was just finding them paying finding paying it was just so much easier like that um I wanted a French bedroom bed when we moved in five years ago, and the two reasons why I didn't get one. The first reason was because I had my bespoke, it's such an unflattering angle, I had my bespoke um, grey bed, and I had that for our Chelsea house, our, our main house that we had, and you could not buy a grey press and button bed anywhere, literally nowhere. I didn't buy it five years ago, we moved here five years ago, I had it before that. So I had it bespoke made, it was very expensive, and I still liked it, so there was no need for me to get rid of it. I wanted to live in this space, work out what I wanted. I initially wanted a bed kind of like this, but pink velvet with gold accents, um, which I still love that bed now, but I'm glad I didn't rush and buy that one. And I was going to have this bed upstairs. Yeah, upstairs, or, or in one of the other rooms. So they're the two beds that I wanted took my time literally didn't rush at all i don't like buying furniture and then like a year later i like to have my furniture for a long time because otherwise it's just a waste of everything so about six months ago i went to order this bed for in here and i was choosing between four the one that we have upstairs now this one and two wooden ones 
and I decided in the end to get this bed for in here and a wooden one for upstairs but I couldn't decide if I wanted the blue or the white so and I kept saying to my friends please just pick a bed for me I can't decide I had 50 50 and I just couldn't make up my mind um so I ended up picking the ones that were in stock and when I show you the other bed I'll tell you why I picked that one as well but this bed was in stock and I wanted to go for the beige tones I wanted this room to be really simple with the white walls and the cast iron radiator is really um going to be quite a centre point and the the blonde what do you call it the blonde floor so this is the sideboard now the bed let me tell you about the bed first so the bed was meant to be in stock and take a week we waited over a month for this bed so i wasn't happy with how long i had to wait because we were literally sleeping on a mattress which is so bad for my breathing and i might have picked another bed that wasn't in stock because we ended up waiting the same amount of time the side cabinets we are we've been waiting two months for those and it looks like we're waiting another six weeks maybe eight weeks for them so shipping is really really bad but when it did get here i was happy with it the cabinet so the cabinet we waited a long long time for and it came and these were all i don't know if it was the manif it seemed to be manufacturer fault but none of these fit in here and the bottom one we couldn't even open so that was a bit disappointing and we had to send it back and then we had to wait six weeks for a new one now it's here i'm happy with it i love how deep the drawers are um i love the color of it inside so i am really happy with it and our bedside cabinets are the same this is our new tv it's the panasonic one and we are just oh my god it's insane it is the best telly ever so i'll when i do a proper room reveal i'll show you this but it just is so streamlined this was a gift from uh, panasonic but we are really into our gadgets and it is just the most insane tv i love that view i can see that when i'm in bed um so yeah that's that um yeah cabinet bed waiting for the cabinets probably going to change that chandelier even though i do really like it and then we have all paris's wardrobes on the left but yeah that's one bed now i'm going to show you the other one now this room looks amazing in in the morning or when there's simply daylight so it looks hideous and i'm going to put some overlays so this is the second bed that i bought from french bedroom um and i'm super happy with it i love it let's lay down oh there's my um feather lamp that you've all seen i did order two one for there the second one never showed up so it was all meant to come together the big one came first this one came a week later and the other one was declared lost um so i went i, I was hesitant to order a new one because of how long they take and they're actually a lot bigger i mean i've seen them hundreds of times in harrods and things but in my small room compared to you know normal size room compared to seeing it in a huge department store they are very big when you put them in a room so this is i honestly think two would have been fine but i think it's a bit overpowering to have two and considering they're two thousand each i didn't need another one so this is actually going in my flat in the lounge which i think will be a lot better the ceilings are higher there um, and it's just here until i sort the flat out so let's sit down and take out the bed oh, so I, I don't know why i spent so long vlogging actually no i can put you on my tripod wait there okay there's something wrong with the lighting and it's just annoying that i've had to do this at night it's like fake light let me turn that bit down and just ignore how bad the lighting is um okay so this bed the one that i initially wanted for up here was the wooden one and i couldn't make up my mind like i told you i couldn't make up my mind if i wanted white or blue everyone was sending me 50 50 and then this was the third one that i had but i was swinging more to the wooden ones i just wanted to change it up and not have because all my other breads have always been press button the one in my flat is is press button and i wanted the wooden one to be something different and then the reason why i went with this one one the wooden ones have a huge wait time like longer than any of the others and because i don't sleep in here i was kind of fine with it it wasn't too much of a big deal but then victoria you all probably know in the fro she had this bed 
and it was the push that I needed because she made me like seeing it in a proper bedroom setting that's really like I love the style of her bedroom it's completely my style the whole Parisian vibe I love that so she definitely influenced me to pick this one and it was I really needed it because it was six months of me not being able to choose the bed and I just saw that a couple of pictures of hers and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna have this one because I like the way it looked in her pictures so thanks Victoria for helping me pick the bed um, and I'm really happy with it everyone that stays here loves it so yeah this is the second one and then I have a new one which is not a French bedroom it's another company it's an Italian company uh, for the one in the flat and um, I can't wait to show you that one it's amazing it's not even here yet so I'm going to show you uh, I'm sorry I showed you at night because like it's like all fake lighting there's no sun rays coming in and this is a very casual vlog of me and miss at the end of the day so now I'm going to show you a couple of bits that I have had delivered now the first thing I'm going to show you is something super duper exciting it's a sh oh. something super duper exciting it's a chanel jacket so um this is another beauty from mrs vintage you know how much i love her she had this on her instagram and i have to stop liking her stuff i either have to like the stuff that's not my size or I like it after I bought it, or ordered it, or put it, uh, made an order with her, because this was on her Instagram, I liked it, and then so someone that follows me bought it. So, and then they said to me, oh, I saw that you liked it, and I was like, oh, no. So I asked her, I was like, it's probably going to be impossible, but can you try and find me one? It took her about six months, but she did it in my size and the reason why I wanted this one is because I wanted one that was cropped I mean it's not crop cropped but it's I love wearing high-waisted jeans and then um, one that's kind of shorter it has the beautiful CC buttons and it has this beautiful quilting but it's very very light because some of the Chanel jackets especially all of the vintage ones what's happening why is it so light all of the vintage ones I really apologize for this light it's just hideous. Um, what was I saying? My husband's back. Look at all the beautiful CC buttons. Like the buttons are so amazing. Um, I only really like the ones with the CC buttons. Uh, yeah, the vintage ones are all so so hot. Like my red one that I have, I love it, and it's perfect for this kind of temperature. But I can't wear it all year round, and they're just super hot. I can't tell you how warm they are. So I wanted one that I could wear all year round, and I'm so happy with it. And she actually found me the skirt as well. So if you do want this one, I'm sure she can find another one. But I love wearing the skirts with. Um, like something really casual, like an off-the-shoulder knit or something, and usually I have them taken up a bit, so it's not like a pencil skirt. So that's my new jacket from Mrs. Vintage, and she actually has my Red CC, which I'll put up a picture here, stunning, like Claudia Fisher, 90s. She has a new one of them, so if you're a size 38, it's a 38, you need to snap that up. The next thing I want you to show you is my, on my amazing leather jackets from Jane and Tash. I've worn the black one, not the cream one. So uh, Jane and Tash is an English brand and they said all kinds of things but they gifted me one of the leather jackets. I'll put up a couple of Instagram pictures here if I don't have time to put it on or um, show you but I will definitely be wearing this all the time. So the leather is super soft. I love that there's no lining. I actually really like that. It kind of makes it like raw I really like that the leather's just so so soft and I'm a fan of anything that's like cropped and goes out it's, I've always thought it's really flattering and I had a vintage jacket like this that I got from Brick Lane when I was at uni and I wore it to smithereens it was already on its last legs and it's not the same but the style was kind of the same so it's kind of replacing that for me um, I have a medium which I think is perfect for me. I could probably even wear a large because I love oversized. And then this is the cream one. And the price is it's not bad for something that's uh, super soft leather like this. So I love this colour. I have my 
beige acne one and my grey acne one. They do this in grey and I really, really love it. So I'll hang this up so you can see it properly. Um, and I will try and show you this before, on before I finish this vlog. But if not, I promise I'll be wearing it soon. So Chanel jacket, two new leather jackets. Definitely recommend them for the quality, the uniqueness of the shape and everything. The price is, I think, really reasonable. And then I put in an order to fig leaves of all my favourite things. So I love wearing things like this at home. This is not bad, actually, for Zara. It's not very itchy when normally they are. They can be, so this is not bad. But nothing compares to cashmere. So I absolutely love the fig leaves loungewear the cashmere i went for a super baggy large and then i get a small in the in the um the matching trousers and i literally live in them i have so many pairs but i just wanted a nice new fresh pair these are something that i live in i love them they're the calvin klein leggings and again i just needed a fresh pair and i have them in the gray as well so just really recommend this kind of thing for being at home, but then you can also go out and like wearing, this is what I'd wear day to day, what I have on, the grey cashmere jumper probably, these, and then I would put on this over the top, just with trainers or like Gucci Prince towels. That is what I wear every day. I think it looks perfectly fine going out. I've even gone to meetings like that. Nice bag, nice hair-ish. Um, and that is literally what you will see me in day to day if you ever see me out unless I'm going somewhere and then I just ordered some new ones of these I've never had this style bra and it's I've tried it on and it's so much nicer than the other one if you actually have a pair of boobs on you because the other one that goes all the way across it's comfy but I can't wear it out because there's no support for me whereas this one is um, has a bit of padding and has an uplift so try that one out if you have a bigger bust than a C. I get a medium. So love them. Uh, some knickers, just some matching carving kind knickers. I get a small, I like the boxer ones, the boxer brief. And a new cashmere robe, which I wear at home, yes, but I actually wear them out more with jeans or like leggings. I love this, this color, it's very, very similar. But they're just so soft, I have the black, the grey, I love them and they're really good value for money. They make really good gifts. I've got a couple of these as gifts before and they're just super, super nice. So there's some new things that I've, I've got lately. Um, can't wait to wear this, how, how spectacular. To me, that's the perfect Chanel black jacket. Beautiful gold CC buttons, like how nice with my big gold CC earrings pair of jeans or black leather trousers levi denim shorts in the in the summer like it's just so so nice and i would wear these together i really would but i'd probably shorten the skirt to make it look less worky because i don't have that sort of work life yeah but i'm so happy with that i'll leave me with mrs vintage in the link below so there are my bits they're my new beds sorry that it's late i really hate filming like this at night because I'm tired and the light it is off but uh, the next time you see me we'll be going to London and yeah I'm going to take you high street shopping with me so and on today I filmed an Hermes Constance comparison so and I also shared the prices this time because I forgot in the last video so make sure you're subscribed and you can wait for Sunday's video and now I'm going to have my dinner and Tomorrow we'll have a full day in London. Hello everyone. Um, I'm on Oxford Street, so it's super noisy. I'll try and keep this quick. It's Wednesday. Now, I think this is the first time I'm putting a vlog out on the same day. It's three o'clock. I look really tired. I went for brunch with my friend Jess this morning and met her new baby. That was amazing. I actually changed my outfit. I was wearing black Max Mara coat grey Chloe hoodie, cream grey Chloe hoodie because it was freezing and raining and now the sun's out I've got like um, a lightweight coat on and changed my knit Hermes constants and trainers so we are going to go to Mango H&M Topshop, do a bit of high street shopping I'm waiting for Paris mm, what can I tell you I'm waiting oh my Farfetch code has two more days left so Claire FF10, 10% off. 
on sale, menswear, whatever you want. Um, yep, yeah, so definitely make no use of that. Oh, I wanted to talk about Australia as well because, sorry if it's, it's probably super noisy. Um, I am still seeing the odd Australian thing. <laughs> I am seeing the Australian thing, Aust Australian social like content, but it has died down a bit. So I just wanted to put a reminder out that it's still going on. And I'm going to put a few links to some of the charities, which you probably all know about, but just for a reminder, because if we all put one pound, you have 6,000 people that watch this video, put one pound, that's 6,000 pound from this one video. So if you can just spare even a pound, uh, they're still struggling. I just wanted to put out another reminder about that because I still keep reading about it. And we keep trying to adopt um, a koala and the website is totally crashing. I hope because too many people are on there. Um, so that's good. That's a good thing, isn't it? So, he's out now. Did you say hello? It's not a... Oh, hi. I thought he was taking a picture. <laughs> what on this? He's got his baked headley on, which no, no, is my favourite. Yeah. I'll link them below because they're the most amazing menswear coats. It's your favourite as well, isn't it? Yeah. So, we're on Oxford Street. I'll show you. Do you want to go anywhere? The sun was out. Actually, this is quite sunny for London in January. So, H&M, Topshop, Mango. So, usually I, have hit, I do this on my own. No. I got a holder. Good so Paris is outside having his tea. Look at the colour palette today. So I've gone for comfy mode and I'm really loving this colour at the moment. Um, like literally like an olive colour but the soft green, the teddy green, I love it. Green is very flattering for a lot of skin tones, especially pinky skin tones like me. So I know I'm going to love that. Couldn't resist that. I can imagine this with my lilac monolos with some boyfriend jeans rolled up with my Manolos, how amazing. And then like a sleek, chic, black tailored coat or blazer. So loving that. I went into the sweatshirt section and I, I literally just wanted to do the sweatshirts because the colors are amazing. Loved this one and I love this new collection that they have uh, with our animals. They have a tiger, I love the zebra one. Paris picked that, so for obvious reasons. Classic tea, I love their classic teas. I love that colour, like with those two. Um, just some joggers, because I really love all their joggers, like even the knitted ones. I love this, it's like a v-neck with a roll neck, but really soft. I thought I'd get one thing that wasn't uh, comfy wear, really liked that. I've got some nice violets at home. This oversized crop cardigan. I've got so many of these tees, I always pick up one. Um, and then just some knitted skirts and trousers and I love this how cute is that so I'm gonna try these all on I got a beanie I really wanted a cream one but they all had bubbles and I didn't want any bubbles and then I found these earrings I really like these and this really cute Let's see I always buy these for gifts for people because I think it's a really cute gift so yeah them two are really nice and they're like 10 pounds each so this is the green this is a medium but i actually think i might want a large because i love my hoodies massive uh one styling tip that i love and it's just so easy to work with is get the same color but different tones and different textures so this is the same tone of green the same color of green but it's two different textures and that's obviously dark dark and light and it's just so easy to work with it looks really amazing with gray pinks reds browns tans there's not much just don't do it with black basically because you never want different blacks but i love this it's so cozy so comfy such a me outfit um with leathers or even leggings like what i have on now i always love a hoodie sticking out of any jacket so that's definitely a winner but check out the hoodies because they have every color you can think of. I'm gonna try this with the teddy one. Just the other one. Oh, what one do you prefer? This one's super soft and cozy and it feels really amazing. The only difference is I think I prefer how pal that is, but this is also really, really nice. It's really, really warm and cozy and the buttons as well. That will go in the maybe, but I think one or the other. So I only got this one to show you because last time I came in here I bought this in the, the olive, the dark olive. 
and I bought a medium and it is a bit too big but I love this I love like the grey tone it has and the same colour buttons so I do really love this let's try it on with the um with that over it so that's what it looks like with this um I definitely love how pal this is but this is so nice and it's so soft so I think this will go in my maybe the only reason is because I have the olive one I look so scruffy today um oh, I like it this is the maybe I don't know why I love green so much or oh, my green birkin which is a forest green this is going to look so nice this is the lilac literally just average lilac hoodie I think I'm going to go for the large this is already big but I want to go super big um rolled up jeans and it's the exact same tone as my lilac kimonos but I've never seen this colour so although it's a simple sweater I wear these all the time with leather jackets even in a teddy coat, I just love that hood sticking out. You can't have enough of this. And how much are they? I can't see in the mirror. £20 and they're really soft inside. And I've never seen lilacs. That's a definite. I am obsessed with this. I think I'm going to get the lighter on, which has got a tiger. But I'm just obsessed. It's like really old school. So simple. And I'm really going for simple stuff today. But I just wanted stuff that I can wear every day. Because I'll just throw this on every day with a really nice jacket, coat and a bag. It's all I'm wearing lately because it's so cold. And I'm working a lot from home, like a lot of admin. So this is all I wanted. But how cute is that? I'll try and link them below so you can see all the different colours and all the different animals. But I love it. <gasps> I love this. I love this. This is a bit bigger. This is an M and it's a bit bigger than the other ones. Oh, this is so good. I'm going to get this in another colour. I know it's just a sweatshirt, but it's perfect. Look at that. And these seams here make it look quite expensive. The neckline is perfect. The silhouette is perfect. The colour is perfect. And please, if you have dark skin or literally any shade darker than mine or dark hair, please get this one because lemon on darker skin tones and dark hair is so divine but um if you're power on blonde like me it still works but yeah love that i'm gonna go and find this in another color i'll link everything below with size reference as well i love this so my favorite thing about this is that it's quite thin um so it doesn't feel too chunky and uh, like overwhelming and it's actually really comfortable I really like this with like the hair tucked in. This is a really nice jumper, it looks really expensive. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. Look at the cable net on the side. Oh, I really like this. I don't wear necklaces normally over my jumpers, but I think this would look quite nice on this one. Yeah, I really like that, that's really nice. Looks expensive, doesn't it? Okay, loving this outfit. So these are, like knitted flares and they're so comfy perfect for day to night so they're a winner the fabrics are really good this season everything is super soft this came in today as well and this vlog is going up today so this is literally brand new i really really like this so cozy and light oh i really really like this With these flares mm. so this is a gray leather teddy gray teddy with like leather pockets and collar i really really like this everything's so comfy as well which is what i wanted i really really like this it's perfect for today when it's chilly but you don't want a huge coat on so this is in the yes pile but we need to see how much we're getting today i was not sure i knew i, I knew i liked it but it looks better on and I think because it feels really nice and I love the leather collars and the uh, cuffs. And these are the tan flares, I pulled them up so they're quite short but I really love these. I have the matching skirt and they're super warm. And then I've put it with this and I love the different brown and tan together. I love this, Like this is way too big, it's making me look bigger. I need to get a medium. Um, but this tucked in and it's super soft. Size down, tucked into jeans. Really like that as well. What do you think? No response? No, not a response yet. Um, I like the side view. I'm not sure if it looks like... You know that things you put on the tables, like 
when you eat. What are they called? Tablecloth. Yeah, but the plastic ones. Plastic tablecloth. <laughs> yeah, that, they remind me of that. They're, I quite like it. They're easy to wash if you get stains on it. Exactly. Yeah. I don't have a raincoat. And if we go for a picnic. I actually really like it. Reminds me of your Matrix coat, the brown one. Black. Is it black? Yeah, I'm gonna get this. I really like yeah. it. I just turn around to say, "Come on, let's go!" And look at him. Have you just shut off? No. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's all what I'm getting, by the way. Come then, mm -hmm. Oliver. So we're finished. I'm like, I'm all like cat candid. We got a bubbleology because they now do non dairy. I love the matcha one. That's some cup shop. We got a picture done. I'm holding this really weird. Um, so that's the end of the vlog. Uh, what's next? Next is an Hermes Constance comparing video. Where are you? Where are you? Um, yes, yeah, so thanks for watching. Everything will be linked below. And I'll see you in the next one.